Hey guys, welcome back to Kyle's Technical World. This is Kyle here. Today we are going to be installing a ASUS AX3000 PCIe Wi-Fi 6 adapter. So as you can see on the front of the box, this is the newest adapter from ASUS. And on the right side is a picture of the card and the antenna. And down here has some specifications, so let me bring that up here so you can see. It supports a wide 160 megahertz band. Obviously Wi-Fi 6, WPA3, which must be supported on the router as well as the card itself, and the antenna. A little disclaimer at the bottom here, it says this card only supports PCI Express X1 standard, so only install it in the X1 slot, it says. On the front flap, just another more Brandon from ASUS. On the right-hand side of that, you do have some box numbers and identification that I can't show you guys but here's another label on the back of that you have ASUS in black text with the white background on the back side of the box here's more detail of the AX standard so here it says 2.7 times faster Wi-Fi even in crowded networks so Wi-Fi 6 or AX as it's called technology and wide 160 megahertz bandwidth ASUS PCE AX58BT, which the BT stands for Bluetooth because it has Bluetooth 5 built into it. It delivers wireless speeds that are up to 2.7 times faster than Wi-Fi 5 or AX devices. A revolutionary combination of OFDMA and multi-MIMO. So it has a new standard, which is OFDMA, so it's able to split up the traffic in to multiple packets and send them out to every device at one time so it sends it out to every device that has Wi-Fi 6 can support it and it'll be faster because it's not going one at a time one at a time it's going to send out the data that every device requires that has Wi-Fi 6 built in their bits of information quicker and it says here and with MIMO which is the multi antenna support Technology ensures the most efficient Wi-Fi connection for your PC. So here you go. It, it has the 5 gigahertz band it's showing. It does support 2.4 gigahertz. So it says with this band, 2.7 times faster, and it's giving you 2 gigabits. And that's AX 2x2, 160 megahertz. So it's doing the 2x2 antenna. So the 2x2 is the two antennas. So it's doing dual data rate between the two antennas. And at the bottom here, it has the Wi-Fi 5 with the same 2x2, only 80 megahertz instead of 160, and that's only 867 megabits per second. Underneath that, it gives you a little explanation of Wi-Fi uh, WPA3. So it says the latest WPA3 network security. So it says the ASUS card comes with the latest WPA3 Wi-Fi standard, providing your PC with an extra layer of protection against external attacks to give you added peace of mind. Of course. They will not tell you, but you must have a Wi-Fi 6 router that will support this standard, as well as, obviously, the card must support it. Towards the right of that, it tells you how the optimized Wi-Fi performance works. So the ASUS card comes with external transceiver and mountable that allow you to position the antennas outside of your PC chassis and adjust their angle for less interference and optimal signal reception while heat sink cover improves thermal for, for better performance. So of course, the antennas and the thermal covering, the thermal panel over the card. So that's what the picture here describes. And obviously FCC logos at the bottom here and whatnot. So the computer we are installing this card into is my main Windows 7 machine here. It uses a AMD Ryzen 5300 processor it has 64 gigabytes of crucial ram in it corsair ram i mean in there so it has all four slots populated with the fastest available ram the 3200 megahertz ddr4 it has a 1050 titan from nvidia this card will get upgraded this year once amd releases their new navi 2 architecture card i will be upgrading that card it does have a pci two USB 3.0 ports at the bottom here and that's pretty much it in terms of what I added in here but the motherboard is an ASUS 
tough board. So we are going to take off this panel. And this case is also Corsair. And it's a tempered glass case. And it also has a Corsair 500 gigabytes Gen 4 PCIe um, M.2 card, which is the newest MP600 series. So let's take a look at this. So here's the inside of the computer. I did decent cable management. As you can see, it's not the best in the world, but it's decent. So we are going to zoom into down here. Let's see if I can get you guys right where that battery, where the CMOS battery is. There's an extra port there. We can use that port, but that's close to the graphics card. So I'm just showing you guys the reason why I might not use this port. And it's a good thing because you got the exhaust fan down here pulling in the air. And that card, if it's going to be installed here, it's going to be too close to this fan. So there is another port. You might not be able to see it because of the shroud for the the shroud here for the um, power supply. But where this card is, there's another slot down here. And that's not going to interfere with the power supply or anything like that because it has a pr protective shroud and there's nothing I get access from there anyway. So I'm going to take off the thumb screw here so we can get into that. So I'm just grab a screwdriver real quick. Okay, so here's my screwdriver, just gonna unscrew here. So this computer I recently built back um, 2019, early 2020, I ordered parts. Of course, there will be more videos on this computer as we upgrade and I change things around, but this is the major upgrade we're doing. So here is the card itself. Let me get that in focus for you guys. So there's the card. So here's your Wi-Fi 6, nice and small. And compared to my previous generation Wi-Fi 5 card from Asus, that card, even though it did fit in the X1 slot, it was obviously much thicker. And you can see that, look at that nice heat sink on top, keep it nice and cool. And you have a adapter down here to plug in. And here's your two antennas here. And that's the serial number and identification on the card. So that's your little anti-static bag it was in. Underneath that, it's pretty straightforward. You have your cable that would plug into a header on the motherboard. So it looks like just your standard header. It's like the same one that plugs into the USB 2s and the audio header. We'll take a look at that. So that's probably like to give it external power or whatnot. Smaller antenna setup right here. Here is a PCI bracket for a small form factor motherboard case. So you would install that, but we don't need that. So we'll keep that in the box. And underneath that, you have your two antennas, which will go externally. Then underneath this, you have software. Of course, Asus still gives you a good old CD, but it's better to download the latest drivers online, of course, since that will be the latest software. So here's just a little warranty gizmo and your VIP notice of warranty and a installation book, which I will take a look at because I want to know what does that adapter do that we saw earlier. So with all that out the way, let's just take a quick look at what we're dealing with here. So it tells you, okay, that's just adjusting everything. So it tells you how to install. Of course, we know how to do that. Okay, yeah, yep, okay. All right, pretty straightforward. I can plug that into any cable. Yep, it says right here you have to plug it into the, the F USB connector. So the front panel USB, which this computer obviously supports. And that's going to give it extra connection to the computer. It looks like it's going to give it like extra data so the computer can have it connected or extra power. Doesn't really explain why is it doing that, but the PCI bus is obviously going to have much more power for it than what it's going to require. 
but here's the here's the cable. So that's your front panel USB, just like that. Sorry that it's not uh, focused, but that's at your front panel, and then that's obviously their proprietary connector on one end. So I bet you it's I bet you it's giving it a, um, another data connection to the computer because that's the only thing it can really do. Of course, it's going to give it a little bit of power, but I don't suspect it's going to give it power since the ex the express card slot is obviously going to have power built into it more than what the card is required. So it looks like it's going to give a data uplink into the computer for access to it, which is something new ASUS did because on their previous card did not have that. So we will install the cable first to make it easier to access. So we'll do that and let's get this card in here. So if you guys know what this cable actually is providing a data signal or a power signal, you can let me know in the comments down below or on my Twitter account, you can let me know. But I suspect it's given a data link to the computer for the software. And as always, when installing a card into the computer, you want to just take your time. Of course, make sure you're statically discharged and all that, but I did before I started the video. And of course, make sure everything lines up. So we are in the X1 slot. Okay. Then take your screw, put your thumb screw back. One of the best benefits about this ASUS case, I mean this Corsair case, it's just easier for you to work on in my opinion. But it just looks nice with the tempered glass, but it's much easier to work on too. So we have the card in. Now this data cable, we will plug it into the front panel, which... Good thing about this ASUS motherboard, it does have two built into the board. Okay, we'll just wrap that cable nicely in here with that other one. Okay, it's out of the way. Perfect. All right. Simple. So now I will put the computer back and I will come back with the video of putting in the software and just hooking up to the Wi-Fi and do a test. All right, guys, I'll see you on the other side. All right, guys, we're at the desktop. Let's go on to ASUS's website. So we'll type in ASUS and we will put in the Wi-Fi card. So here it is, the 58BT. Drivers and tools. So here it is. So it's gonna ask us to select our operating system, Windows 10. Here is the latest drivers that came out for it. Download that. Wait 30 more seconds and we'll have that. And as far as the antenna setup, I will show you guys that now. So here is the antenna. So take you over this way. So that's my filing cabinet with the OS 10 Jaguar magnets, Titanic poster, space shuttle poster, Computer sits down here on the floor. The desk is an IKEA desk. It's an IKEA uh, gaming desk, but the computer doesn't fit on the special section at the bottom. And if you guys can see right here underneath that Logitech 3 in 1 wireless charger, here you have the Wi Fi card. I mean, the Wi Fi antennas, my bad guys. So let me get a flashlight there so you can see the antennas. So that's the antennas. So you can see one is pointing towards the camera and one is pointing up, going through there. The reason why I did that, because the reception is gonna bounce around. The reception from the one pointing towards us is gonna bounce around the desk and penetrate the rest of the room and the walls and whatnot. The other one can go to the top and penetrate the top area and whatnot. But that shouldn't be that bad of a Antenna arrangement, of course, we'll change that if needed, but that's it right now, and that is the magnetic base holding it against the wall there. 
but let's scoot you guys back over to the computer. So here is the computer. We're back here. So zoom you guys back out. At the bottom here, we do have the Wi-Fi drivers. And it is a .rar file, so you will have to use like Rinbar to unbox, um, um, unzip it. So we'll send that to the desktop. There it goes. Okay, that's done. Get that out of the way. And it should be down here. So here it is, front and center. So that's it. Double click. And here is the setup down here. There's two of them, but we'll run the newest one. Of course, Windows UAC, of course. And we are going to install the Wi-Fi drivers first, and that's Intel drivers. So here it is. We're going to do customized. So it's going to make a program file in the C programs in an Intel folder. So it's going to install the wireless support extension. So it supports features that are available to your computer, such as Intel My Wi-Fi technology and Intel's wireless display. And administrator toolkit, we will install that. So there it goes. It's going to install the Intel tools. Because the Wi-Fi 6 is right now built onto Intel's chipsets and things like that. So ASUS has probably licensed out the rights to use the Wi-Fi 6 chips from Intel at the moment since right now they're the one of the few first that have Wi-Fi 6 chips. Qualcomm is going to have them very soon. I think the new Samsung devices have Wi-Fi 6 already. Broadcom and other manufacturers besides Intel is going to start producing Wi-Fi 6 cards and chips for PCI cards for the computers, Wi-Fi cards on the laptops, in the mobile devices as well. So just to let you guys know, this is my second Wi-Fi 6 device in the house now. The first one is my iPad Pro 2020. And here we go, we got that installed. And now we're gonna install a Bluetooth driver. It does support Bluetooth 5.0. So that's obviously another piece of software. So that's why there's two antennas and that's why it supports, that's why it says BT in the name for Bluetooth. So here's another set of Intel software. We're going to do the complete package install. And it's pretty quick. That's perfect right there. So we're going to exit out of that. We're going to exit. So just to let you guys know, currently it's hooked up to Ethernet hardwire. We are going to disconnect it now. So that's officially off the internet through hardwire. I'm going to go in. Select my Wi-Fi network, connect automatically, hit connect, and I'm going to type in my password. Okay, so it's going to do its verifying connection. And it's hooking up to my main Netgear router which is the first one that Netgear has sold since CES that supports both Wi-Fi 6 and it's a cable modem. So I have a, I have Comcast 1 gigabit and I have a box that it costs $400, but for $400 you get your modem to hook the cable and Wi-Fi 6 support. So that is perfect to get right there. Okay, so it's finishing up the setup right now. And then we'll do a speed test to see how fast this network works. So I'll leave links below for the affiliates for my channel. You can check out where to get the deal on the Netgear 2-in-1 cable modem slash Wi-Fi 6 router and the Asus Wi-Fi card for your computer. 
seems to be having trouble connecting to the network, I will do a quick restart and come right back, guys. All right, guys. So I got it connected after a reboot. Here we are on speedtest.net. And that's my internet provider, Xfinity, connecting to a server where I'm located in Florida. So here we go. We're going to hit the go. All right. So let's see. Ping is 8 milliseconds. And whoa, that is vastly improved over the cable. That's vastly improved. Wow. That's amazing. We're getting about 16. I'm a little bit, uh, I'm in a different room than the router itself. So, of course, the speed is going to be a little bit slower. But for the first go, 68.23. That's decent. Very decent. Um, might have to adjust the antenna or whatnot, which I'll do that and we'll do another test momentarily. Okay, and 37.8 for the upload. So let's switch the antenna from underneath out. Okay, do that. Switch it out. Okay, let's do another test. Okay, much better. Okay, since I moved the antenna out from underneath, okay, that is now improving the reception. Okay, we're close to a gigabit, close to one gigabit. The ping has significantly dropped, went up, I mean, from 8 to 11 milliseconds, but that's fine. And, okay, getting different speeds for the upload. But here is where the antenna is now placed. So now it's out from underneath, and the antennas are pointing towards the room where the Wi-Fi card is located. The Wi-Fi modem is located. So we're going to do one more test. We're going to do a connection instead of multi. We're going to do a single connection. So let's go back. We are going to do a single connection now. So let's do that. Okay, so the ping is significantly lower. And download speed. Okay, download speed is just as fast as my old internet connection. Okay, so... Okay. Yeah, upload is a little bit faster. Okay, so you're going to get a mixed bag of results depending on how far you're away from the router and you got to play with the antenna to see um, your, um, what you call it, your maximum speed you're going to get and the correct antenna adjustments and whatnot. But otherwise, guys, this Wi-Fi card is going to be a superior upgrade over Wi-Fi 5. And for anyone building a computer in 2020 and in the future, we'll be looking at getting this card should get this Wi-Fi card for their computer all right guys if you like the video give it a like subscribe leave a comment down below what you think of the Wi-Fi card will you get one will you not any new improvements or whatnot and follow me on my Twitter account and check the Amazon links in the description to get a deal on all these cool products see you guys in the next one